Uh, very proud of our team today. Competed very well. A big SEC win at home. Uh, you know, got got ahead in the game. Stayed ahead in the game. Didn't have a lot of the self-inflicted wounds. Allowed teams to come back and get ahead and stayed very efficient on offense in that regard. I thought defensively, uh, we did a really good job as far as create three huge turnovers in the game. They got some yards and some plays in which we got a couple more stops. And gave, we gave up some, but at the same time, we had cr created three big turnovers that we converted into touchdowns and plays and, and made, which were big momentum swings in the game. Special teams, we were very sound offensively. I thought our efficiency was really excellent. I thought uh, all, in all the areas is what we, that I always talk about. We had balance in the run game. Quarterback and backs were both running the football very well and how we were doing it. Uh, efficiency in the passing game, catch and run, yeah, had some yak yards, plays down the field. Uh, the young players kept getting better. The offensive line did a really good job picking up blitzes. They brought a lot of different blitzes up front. They, they were bringing a lot of different combinations. You see our offensive line getting better and better. They keep they just keep growing in what they're doing. A lot of young contributions. Isaiah Spiller has another 90-yard day and plays excellent. See Wiedemeyer's ability to catch balls and his big ability to run afterwards. Our three receivers, I thought two, one, uh, uh, 13 had the you know, group big time play. 17 was doing a great job. 14 was doing a good job. They were very efficient. But Kellen, I thought, really managed the game today. Uh, I thought his ability to pull, his, his decision making and the runs to pull it, to hand it, to do that, to check and get us from pass to run, run to pass, picking up protections and blitzes, adjusting the front, and then being so accurate with the football down the field, I thought, and then managing the clock at the end, how to milk it down, get drives, and you know, picked up two big third downs with his legs and won the run pass option. And you know, he just he just keeps growing as a football player. It's fun to watch. And I think defensively, we're keeping some young guys are getting playing time. The older guys, Matt Book and those guys are playing well. And, Special teams, we're keeping it continuing to grow. So we just keep sawing wood, try to get better. Got better a little bit better this week, but still got a lot of things we got to work on and get better at. And uh, go play U2SA next week and then uh, try to get better this every week of practice. Right side, Gabe. Left. Situation where you ran for over 200, you didn't allow sack. I mean, just a little bit more on the, what you're seeing up front. Yeah, well, the, and the lack of negative plays, getting communication. I mean, and it goes, in, you know, and some of those, like I say, the side adjustments and the breaks of the receivers breaking routes off, seeing the coverages, which helps the protection, the line can do it. It's all, like I say, sometimes you blame a line for sacks, and it's not. The receiver may not see the adjustment or the quarterback, you know, and things like that. But the line up front did a really good job in, in their communication, their pass blocking, putting hats on hats, and, and getting movement in the ring game. To the left, Olin, and then to the right, Chris. Uh, Jim, a couple things. First of all, uh, do you consider that a complete game? And then secondly, no. was there anything uh, that, that that you've been seeing that uh, you could have anticipated that y'all were going to have this kind of an offensive show? Well, I, I've seen us do it in spurts, and you know, but to do it with that consistency, to answer your question, no. I mean, I think, but I've seen a lot of little things that I see we're getting better at that a lot of folks that you can't see because you don't, you're not in practice every day. You know, you're not in the little, and you get to watch the film and rewind it back 38 times like we do and see there's been a lot of things we're growing at that I always say that people say, well, I ain't seeing the results. But as a coach, you know they're getting better and it, it is eventually starting to come together. The one thing I was disappointed in, I, and, and I'm, I'm very disappointed, we're gonna address this, I was not happy with, with the personal fouls at the end of the game and, or in the middle when we had that drive down there too. They, you gotta play smarter. I don't care, guy hits your court about why that, what, that's, that, that, I love it. I love I love having friends like that, but right there we're trying to win a game. We don't need to we don't need to do that. And I, we got to get that cleaned up. We had a couple personal fouls there that I don't that I don't tolerate. We won't we won't have, and I don't like the way that that came about. But other than that, but you know, there's a lot of things we're getting better at, and the little thing. Hopefully, we can continue and just keep sawing wood, keep chopping, and help have a good, pretty good football team. It's all over with. Second row on the right, Christy. You touched on this in the in, the, in your opening, but um, how big it, was it for y'all to not only get the turnovers but get uh, touchdowns out of every single turnover? They do, and, and they're momentum swings, and that's what I talk about playing each other. You know what I mean? When one side creates a play, the other side feeds off of it and goes capitalize, and you build momentum in the game, and you take the air out of people. Man, it's hard, you know, because you know that momentum can swing back. We call sudden change. Okay, they get a turnover, and if they stop you. All of a sudden, their mo the momentum goes back to them. Hey, we, we withstood that. So now we got momentum. Let's go back this way. Games are like, how funny when you're kids like that, the things like that happen. And that's why I think the only thing in defense, we, there's a couple times in which we, after we scored, we need to get it. We gave up a couple drives there. We got to get stopped and, and we can really play completely.